Okay, this is a quick uh, look at our studio during the recording of uh, Get On My Level. Oh Get boy. On My Level is a show hosted by Dan and Ben. We record it on separate coasts, and then it comes together. Jan edits it into one piece, but the elements are recorded separately, and they need to talk to each other, so it's kind of interesting. There's a decent amount going on. It's not overly complicated, but I thought you might want to see what goes into it. So first we boot up our video mixer uh, in the case of the East Coast. That's our trusty TriCaster. We've got one camera that's going to be fixed on Dan. And we'll be taking in his gameplay from the Switch. So in the TriCaster, I'll make a composite shot and basically just use that to send over to Ben and Jan. And this will contain Dan and his Mario Maker 2 footage, his gameplay. And it's not going to be used in the final version. It's basically just so Ben can see everything that he needs on his end to react appropriately to the show. If, if Dan's making a face or uh, so on and so forth, you want to be able to see him. And since we're sending one signal, he also needs, obviously, um, Dan's Mario Maker 2 gameplay. The only thing you have to worry about is if you drop to the lower platform... So I'll record Dan's camera, the one that's on him. I'm going to record that locally on two devices. And each recording is set up so that if one fails, it won't break the other one. They're not daisy chained so that if the battery runs out or the power gets kicked out on one, we're gonna lose signal on the other. And that's kind of important. And it's uh, you know always important to record twice because in production, uh, nothing ever goes wrong unless you haven't made a backup, in which case it will definitely go wrong. So always record twice, always have a second backup and always make sure that it's not a daisy chain so that if the first one fails, the second one will also fail because of it. So I record Dan's camera and his gameplay locally on these uh, Ninja Infernos, and I record those in ProRes on these, which basically just means it's a fairly high bitrate, but also means it's gonna be a huge file. It's gonna be tough to send over when it's done. So I also record his camera and his gameplay in H.264, which will give me an MP4 when all is said and done. The H.264, Compression is, you know, is what it is, but the file size is going to be a ton smaller and it's going to allow me to send that to Jan in a reasonable amount of time when we're done. I can basically send it to a Google Drive and he can get it uh, within, you know, an hour or so um, based on the upload and download speeds. We're going to connect via Skype TX, which is just a version of Skype that's kind of aimed at production environments. Uh, this is a standalone Skype TX unit. Is it better than regular vanilla Skype? It definitely has features I like, but you know, sometimes we use Discord just for audio stuff. You got to use whatever is appropriate, or you sometimes got to use what you can afford, uh, or they'll let you buy. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hi. How's it going, Dan? Doing all right. How are you? Good. Good. Once we've connected, I send Jan Dan's vocals and a bit of his gameplay. I get the same stuff back from Jan, and I'm going to make two recordings of just Dan's vocal track. They won't have Ben or Dan's gameplay or Ben's gameplay. It's just going to be Dan's vocal track. And I make two, again, because if I just made one recording, it definitely would break. So always make two. And I'll also record the entire session with everything involved, the composite shot, Ben's audio, just in case. So now Dan can see Ben, see his gameplay, and he can also see himself and see what he's sending over to Ben, which is important so that he can make sure he stays in frame so he doesn't wander out, or if he can check and see if something's gone horribly awry, if the lighting's gone weird or bulb burns out, whatever whatever might happen that Dan might not notice if he's just staring at the gameplay, he can glance over and, and kind of readjust on the fly. And once all the audio levels are checked and everybody seems ready to do their thing, I can basically let this run for about an hour, as long as they do the show, and then I'll collect the footage at the end. If everything went fine, I'll send Jan two video files. One for Dan's camera, and one for his gameplay. I'll also send him an audio file that just contains Dan's vocal track. Dan's gameplay audio will be uh, attached to the video with his gameplay, so that's already married together. And I'll usually send him the H.264 files, just because they're already smaller, and we can send those over the internet. In the end, Jan takes it all together, edits it and makes it look great and that's how we record a get on my level from the east coast hope you enjoyed thanks for watching <laughs>